Hello to all and today we will talk about something not only a bit geeky but something I personally think might change quite a few things on the watchmaking scene and I've been uh, convinced about this since many many years I have to say so 3D printing or the other way of saying it and sounding a bit more serious additive manufacturing so let's be honest and uh, we're not yet there yet but uh, during the last EPHG trade fair a conference was held on the matter with some pretty serious and recognized experts and it was therefore the perfect occasion for us to know more about it, where we stand and what radical changes these new technologies are bringing on the table. So let's hear the experts, let's go. At present the um, uh, most advanced technology with the highest precision is so-called powder bed processing. Now this is limiting the precision that can be achieved because the powders used they are they have to be flowable. Flowability you can understand this if you take sand in your hands and it has to go through the fingers. Right? If powders are getting very fine they are getting not flowable anymore they are clocking together and this limits today's precision in 3D printing. So, therefore, the watchmaking industry is not happy with the final precision of the pieces as they are coming out of the printer. And they have to invest a lot of time to work these pieces, so to polish or to put in the next machine to make a final finish. This is, at present, the limitation and will not be changed in the near future. There are other 3D printing technologies which are coming now, which are based on finer powders which increases the health issues, so that it's more dangerous to work with finer powders, but we can produce then pieces with final precision that makes the watchmakers happy. But I guess that we can achieve surface roughnesses that are better than 0 0.01 millimeter, so 10 micrometers, that's a precision that we can achieve with a roughness that is 10 times smaller than that. And I guess this should be good enough for the mechanical pieces. This is in the pipeline and there is no machine out yet that can deliver that. But I promise in the next two, three years there will be industrial solutions coming up where the watchmakers say, wow, this is a piece I can directly sell as it comes out of the printing machine. So this is why they are interested in research and promoting methods by which you could, uh, for example, using online monitoring of the process, um, correct uh, during the fabrication procedure, correct the parameters such as you can uh, uh, heal a defect if you create one or avoid creating any defect. Second type of research is uh, to, to see whether you could uh, um, imagine new types of components that you cannot fabricate with conventional methods. And that's, that's quite important and that could lead to products uh, which are very innovative uh, as compared to the competitors, for example. Basically, we have to change our way, our way to, to design, our way to produce and our way to teach. Because this new technology is a complex system, is a, um, a mix between all systems we know, like lasers, like physical, like materials, but uh, in the same process. The third aspect is also to, to check different types of materials, uh, types of alloys. Uh, the fact that you're using a new fabrication method can lead to new properties of the material. In particular, they are looking for a hard material, which is quite resistant to scratches, for example. For medical applications, for example, it's about 13 years until a new material has gone through all these tests and approvals. For watchmaking industry, I think it's less, but still, it will take time. But we are on a very good track to solve the problems. And this is actually more interesting. We will produce materials which much better performance than today's known materials. And this is actually what I'm excited about. That's developing new materials combined with a process that opens new possibilities. Basically, our life is based on physics. But actually, when we, when we make uh, a design, we make a design by um, uh, subtracting materials. Now, we are making designs by addi 
active manufacturing. That means it's the reverse process. I, I'm, th I'm thinking in the, in the 90s, in the US, all the people uh, are speaking about uh, design thinking, uh, some people like Steve Jobs, IDEO, and so on. I, I'm thinking it's a, it's a joke because the real revolution is, is now, is now, because it's a physical revolution. The main limit is the, um, the um, thermical limit. We don't know how to process the material because we are thinking about the materials we know now. But the reality is that we are thinking about the material which is adapted to the functionality we want to have. That's the problem. We are thinking in the old world for an old material with a new technology. Mass production, I think, will never be done by 3D printing. Mass production of identical pieces are more cost-effectively produced by already known classical production methods. 3D printing will cover a range of a certain number of pieces and especially specific pieces. So it will be really interesting to see the situation in five years' times because the knowledge and the developments of these technologies are simply exponential. And I don't only believe that it will be uh, only it will only help some brands in exploring new paths with materials that we don't yet know about. I mean, we're talking about new shapes, new properties, and so on. But I'm also pretty convinced that even us might benefit from it and do a few things by ourselves. Wouldn't that be ultimately cool if we could print out some of these components and build? our own watches, I mean, shared design ideas and so forth. Ah, yeah, the future seems pretty promising, but regardless, we'll always need the good human hand to adjust, finish, assemble, regulate all of this. And I might be a bit dreaming a little bit, but I, I like the perspective anyhow. So all the best to you. Thanks for watching. Even more thanks to our great patrons and see you real soon. See you watch me.